three squares I got here, here, and here. The buttons were so massive. There are still traces of it here. You're seeing some here and some here. Uh, you're seeing a little bit here. The ones on top of here basically gone, but what we have remaining is, is here and here. And we have here. But. chocolate and chit chat today i am having simply some black coffee as i always do with some chocolate whipped cream so what today's topic is about today's topic is about acne <clears throat> every woman's nightmare but i guess it may have that issue but it would be more of a woman who would be more like you know affected by terrible acne and you'll find acne women who have a lot of acne is women who have a lot of oily skin. A lot of women with oily skin, like myself, will have a lot of issues with acne. For example, my hair. If I don't put any moisturizer in my hair, so what I have is a curl moisturizer, right? It's an African roots curl moisturizer. Now that has a lot of grease in that moisturizer. And if I use that moisturizer, and I don't tie my hair down to sleep next day, it would be a whole bump fest on my face and this is not even a joke i am very serious and the buttons that i would have they won't um get yellow or anything they would just stay there red and just be hurting and when it started to go down it would just leave a dark spot so that is my issue so what do i do with my hair most times i will have it dry absolutely nothing in it and if I have somewhere to go, I'll have a video to make. Or if I really don't want to do nothing, I'll just try and pass a flat iron in it. And that would be a whole disaster by itself. So what I would normally do is just put some of my curl moisturizer in my hair. And when I'm done with that, I would do my very best and try and wash it out. Or just tie it down so I won't have any oil on my face. Because that would really bother me. So... But what had happened to me recently, I started a new project in my bathroom. So, I, you know, I want to try and do it myself kind of situation now. So I take on this task and I removed the toilet bowl and the whole bathroom uh, shower system. Everything was removed. So I did a really good job. But what I think happened there, because that is where I had this big breakout just a few days ago. Uh, what happened is that I wasn't using my hands because I'm really conscious. I'm always conscious about my face and, and my hands being dirty and touching it. So I'm always conscious of this, right? So what I know happened that uh, every time I would sweat because I wouldn't put on the air conditioner. It's just wasting. And, you know, and just hard times, you just, there's plenty of money. You don't want that electricity bill going up too high. So I wouldn't put on the air conditioner if I'm doing some work in the bathroom. The thing is, I had on all the lights in the bathroom, so the lights was really, really, inside it was really hot, so I was having some real sweating issues going on on top of what I was doing. So removing the toilet bowl, yes. I removed my toilet bowl, I put back my toilet bowl, I removed my shower system, put on a new one. So anyway, um, when I did that, I keep doing this with my face, with, right, on my 
t-shirt that I had on because I know I can't touch my hair. I was really sweating. But apparently, for some reason, like I forgot for a minute that the t-shirt will also give me a breakout, you know? And that is exactly what happened. At the end of this project, when I was done, that's about three, three days ago, here, here, and here, the buttons were so massive. There are still traces of it here. You see in some here and some here. Uh, you see a little bit here. The ones on top of here basically gone, but the one we have remaining is, is here and here. And we have here. But I will tell you what what I normally use, right? What I would normally use on a day-to-day -day basis, but mostly in the night. I would use this product. So every night before I go and sleep, I would wash my face. Now with no special soap. I would use blue soap. I find blue soap really cleans my skin. Now, what I used to use before was this fair and white. They have a soap. So I would normally use that and that would really give you a nice clean. But that soap is $60, right? So that soap is really expensive. So I decided to buy some blue soap and try it out. And that blue soap have blue soap blue soap uh, by itself has a lot of good properties for your skin so it's really good so i said let me give it a try and it's also cheap it's like five dollars for a, a a block of soap you know so it's really reasonable so i would purchase the blue soap and that really works for my skin so that's what i've been using to wash my face and then i would apply this cream but this is you realize i make sure it is for oily skin so therefore it would be more of a dry cream. So this helps prevent breakout, right? And then if I am having any issues, once I apply this cream in the morning time when I wash my face again during the day, I would apply this. This really, really works. It is really, really good. However, I have oily skin. This is an oil-based product. It's really oily. So I have to be very, very cautious of how I use this because sometimes I find if I use it too much, I would get breakout. This would remove the dark spot. I am not even joking. It works. It really removes the dark spot. But if I use it too heavily, it would bring buttons because you could clearly see it states in the bottom right for dark spots so it is a very very good spray so i would use this and this right these two products is what i would use well when this whole nightmare took place this bump fest this happened forgetting that i needed to buy myself a bottle of this cream so i was left in a pickle what do I do? And the place that I would normally go and purchase this, they were put on lockdown because one of their staff, because of someone who came into that establishment, was tested positive for COVID. So they closed down the establishment, you know. So I couldn't go purchase one of this. So left in this pickle, how do I get out of this very salty water? Then I remembered I had this treasure on hand. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this. I did not try this and this together. I did not. So when I remember I had this little treasure on hand, what I did, I washed my face, as I said, with the blue soap. And then, as you see, it has so there is control as to how much you can, you would put. So I washed my face, so I just wanted to show you all how I use it. And even touching these products, I have to pick these containers. Even though I know they're not dirty, right? But just touching these containers and I put on my hand just like that on my face, I would have a breakout. That's how sensitive my skin is. So this is the one finger that I didn't touch it. So this finger is what I'm going to use. And you just apply a little bit like that 
and I will just normally apply it to this area. You can see how I'm still dealing with some still, you see? Tied up. And I'll do the same here. Now this is really, really strong. It is really, really strong, so. But it works. I am not even going to joke. Within the first 24 hours of using this, when I had this big bump test, just decided to have a dance on my face, on my face, and I realized what was going on with that cream, and I pull out this. Within the 24 hours, I am not going all these things that was swelling up here, started to ripe on my face, and I was able to get rid of them. So now, as I continue using it, it is drying. All that was swollen, I was just red. And when I start to put this on my face, they start to ripe and I get rid of them. Now I am, now they are just drying up. That's where I'm at. The ones on top of here, basically gone. It's just this one here, but you can see how much they have dried up. And all these buttons here was really, really big. So there is no information in those buttons, so um, this really works. Now that was the purpose why I purchased this in the first place a couple of months. And this is all, this little bottle here is almost $70, $70. This, this little tiny thing, $70. So I am very cautious when using it because I am mindful of how expensive this product is. It's really expensive. So. I would rub them on and leave it. It's not, it's not as oily as this. So I'm thinking like once everything is totally dried up and if I am seeing any dark marks, I, then I would use this. If I have been using fair and white for years to control dark spots after buttons because as I said, normally my buttons wouldn't get ripe. They would just stay big and red and then just dry up and leave a dark spot. So what I have been doing when I use fair and white products, I would buy the cream normally, I'd buy the cream in the big container, but now I've most, mostly seen them selling it in a little tube. So fair and white used to come in a container like this, but big, and for what, 100 and something dollars, and I would purchase that, and it would last me a long, long time. So then when I wasn't seeing this container, and I was only seeing like the tube and i think that is real rubbery for my money i said let me try this because this has dark spots remover on it so i was like let me try this and not the cream for a little bit in that sense i regret purchasing this product because and only because of how oily it is and how oily it leaves my face let me just get a little squirt and this is the color right and it is really oily so this will truly affect my skin so i have to be very cautious how i am using it i'm only going to use this if i see after using this and once all has dried up and it left a dry look a black look then i would use this if i don't need to use this i won't use this because of the oil content in this so simple homemade ingredients you could use I'm not knocking those ingredients but I'm just simply saying if you're purchasing all these expensive stuff you can try these simple stuff that you would normally pick up and they would really help with acne dry up your acne and help improve your face I am going to give you a follow-up once uh, this is cleared up and once I am done with it, when it's all dried up, if I need to use this, I would make a video with an update on how it worked on my skin when it's all said and done. So I just wanted to share these three products with you and how I treat my acne bump vests when they do appear. So I do hope you enjoyed watching this very quick and 
informative well to me it's very informative because i'm sure it's helping somebody who don't have all this and have all this and everything else but may have some tea tree oil at home and want to know what they could use and if they have this they could give it a go and see how it works so i do hope you enjoyed watching i do hope this was informative to you in some way and i will be back with a follow-up a video as to how it worked and if i need to use this fair and white i wish i had known how oily this was and i wouldn't have purchased it but no bad reason don't work, yeah so you will have an awesome awesome wednesday continue to stay safe stay safe and don't forget to check out all of my other chocolate and chit chat right here as this is done go in the cards click and enjoy all those other chocolate and chit chat videos and stay safe bye